Hi there everyone, welcome once again to the Performance Centre here at Howley Hall Golf Club in Leeds. My name's Ryan Rastall, PGA professional here and also equipment expert for Golfshake.com. If you're new to our videos, please hit that subscribe button, see loads more content from all of us here at Golfshake to help you play more and play better. Today we're taking a look at four of the most forgiving drivers out there on the market and certainly four that we've really enjoyed testing so far in 2023. Now you'll notice here there's some notable absentees from our list. Ping, not here. We don't have any stuff to test. We've not been sent anything yet. So Ping, if you're watching, please send us some gear. We'd love to include you in our tests. We've also not got anything from Srixen either, which I'd quite like to test their new driver. Tight list as well. We don't have any of their kit. So yeah, if anyone out there is listening from those companies, please send us some stuff. It'd be great to test them and add them to our list. But today we have the Aerojet driver from Cobra. We have Wilson's Dyna Power driver. We have the Stealth 2, the standard Stealth 2, and Paradigm X as our most forgiving models for us to test today. So we're gonna hit some on the track man here in the Performance Center. Also talk to you a little bit about each of the drivers as we're hitting them, what they look like, what they feel like, the kind of feedback that I get when hitting them. And then at the end, we're gonna take a bit of a look at all the numbers that we see on the track man as well. So let's go hit some of these and show you exactly what we think. So the first driver we're gonna to hit today is the brand new Paradigm X driver from Callaway. So X is the most forgiving in the Paradigm series. So we've obviously got the triple diamond, the standard Paradigm, and this, the X. Now, this is a little bit more draw bias than the other models as, as standard, if you like. It's got the weight in the back there, nothing movable about the weights in this driver. We've obviously got the OptiFit system on the cog, so we're able to turn this down a little bit loft-wise. So this is now set at eight and a half degrees, so it's pretty much what I would normally use, and a shaft that I've used in the past as well, so Ventus Black 60X. So let's have a hit with it and see exactly how it performs, okay? In terms of how it looks behind the ball, we've got that nice footprint that we see from the Callaway driver. We've got that Chevron on the top of it, the head looks huge and really, really forgiving. So we'd expect to kind of get away with some of the more off center hits that no doubt I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, in terms of looks behind the ball, looks great. Let's see what the performance is like. Certainly feels really nice and solid off the face. You can really feel that that carbon chassis kind of makes it sound a little bit different to when you're hitting a, you know, a standard titanium or, or steel driver. But yeah, that carbon element there does make it sound a bit different, but there's a real kind of crunch and solid feel when you hit it. So let's hit a few more. You know, I've hit a couple of pretty dodgy strikes there and the spin has stayed quite good as well, just looking at the numbers initially on the screen there. So normally you'd expect a driver like this to spin a bit higher, maybe launch a bit higher than say the triple diamond or the standard model. And it probably will be doing that a little bit, but it's certainly a lot tighter than I expected it to be. And, and like I say, feel wise, it's very, very good. The next one we're gonna test is the Stealth 2 driver from TaylorMade. Again, looks great behind the ball, nice big footprint, the more gloss sort of finish this time that we see, and the red kind of halo around the back of the driver there. We can see that little bit of the red face on the driver as well, which I absolutely don't mind. Some of you out there might not like the look of that. Again, Ventus black shaft in that. And in terms of loft, we're down at uh, nine degrees. So it's half a degree more lofted than we've just tried in Paradigm X. But let's give it a hit and see exactly what we think. I mean, straight away, sound off the face. Very different to the Callaway. Still that carbony kind of crunch sound when it comes off, but really feels to be coming off the face nice and quick. So let's see how it compares later on. But, but yeah, first hit, very, very good. So the third driver we're gonna to test today is the Wilson Dyna Power. We've tried this obviously in our review, which you can see on the channel if you wanna watch that. We use this and the Carbon. Uh, and really got some great results as well. And sort of all the reviews I've seen out there speak very, very highly of Wilson Dyna Power. So I'd expect that to come out pretty well on our list. This time we've got Ventus uh, in the blue, extra stiff again. We're gonna have a hit with that and see exactly how it compares to the others. But in terms of looks, slightly different finish, a bit of duller kind of finish behind the ball there than the others, but still looks great. Got that red Dyna Power logo in the heel there as well.
feels pretty good, nice and solid as well off the face. That's what I can kind of see with all of these drivers is the sound and the feel is very, very solid, which I quite like. We all want to hear that sound of a well-struck driver when we hit it. And certainly that wasn't the best I've ever hit, but it's still come out pretty, pretty nicely, nice and fast off the face. And the numbers straight away look quite good. So the fourth and final driver we're going to test today is the Cobra Aerojet. Now, this is the standard Aerojet model, nine degree, uh, set of standard and we've got the Kylie 60X shaft in there as well so they're all pretty similar weights and kind of feels across all the shafts but what we're really interested in is how forgiving they are when we don't hit the middle of the face yeah we, we all hit the odd one out the middle and we all see some good numbers when we do that but if you're anything like me you miss the middle of the face far too often we want to make sure that driver still performs when we do that so let's hit a few in terms of the looks it's very different to the others that carbon kind of finish and, and design on the top we've got the cobra c crown logo there kind of frame in the middle of the face and that white sort of halo around the back of the driver again slightly different shape it looks a bit more kind of triangular and elongated than the other models do but let's have a bit of a hit and see Again, very good, slightly higher pitch to this one when you hit it than the others. In here, it sounds that little bit kind of tinnier, I suppose. It is, you know, still got a lot of carbon in the head there, in, in the chassis. We've got the weight there at the back, so there's no movable weight in this, in this head now. So it's just back, so we'd expect this to be slightly higher launching and spinning maybe than the, certainly the LS model. So when we look at the data that we've got with our four drivers that we've hit, let's take a bit of a look at it all together there. So we can see the longest, so the one that's gone the furthest total distance, we can see is Cobra Aerojet. And certainly off the face when hitting it, it did feel pretty hot. Uh, the spin was nicely controlled as well. So that and Paradigm X are both quite similar, really. They're within a yard of each other and also within about 50 RPM as well, which, which is pretty good. Paradigm X has launched that little bit higher. In terms of the carry distances, we can see both of those two again. Aerojet, Paradigm X, pretty much exactly the same. And in terms of performance, it's hard to split the two of them. Now, when we look at the Stealth 2, in the tailor-made, we can see ball speed-wise, it's up there with Aerojet as the fastest, but spun a little bit more for me. So potentially the plus is the one that's going to suit me slightly better. This whole test was about forgiveness, okay? And if we're looking at purely forgiveness, when we look at the Aerojet and also the Stealth 2, they were slightly less accurate than the Dynapower and the Paradigm X were. So really for those off-center hits, certainly when I've tested them here, the Paradigm X and the Dynapower seem to go that little bit straighter when you don't hit them out the center. Now, if we're talking a little bit about overall performance, I would say Aerojet probably edges it. It's, it's that and Paradigm kind of together. I'm talking just in terms of distance, really. But, but overall, probably Paradigm X is the better of all the ones we've tried in this test because it's gone that little bit further and it's also gone pretty straight. You can see Dynapower is, is more than holding its own against all of these drivers that are retailing for a hell of a lot more money. So I would recommend you try Wilson Dynapower. It's a fantastic driver and certainly stands up against all of these. We can see distance wise, for me, it's five yards less than Stealth 2, which you know, is, is negligible really. And it was pretty straight when we hit it as well. I really enjoy hitting the Dynapower, have done when we've done our review, which you can check out on the channel as well. But all of these drivers, we've we've reviewed the whole of the um, families in these. So Aerojet, Dynapower, Stealth 2, and also the Paradigm family as well. So you can check those out on the channel. But from what we've tested here today, if I was gonna pick one out of here, I, to be honest, I'd be torn between Aerojet and Paradigm X but it would probably edge it for Paradigm X just on how straight it went. Hopefully you've enjoyed that video. I've certainly loved testing them again and hitting these drivers again here in the Performance Center. If you've got any questions, please pop them in the comments section below. Be more than happy to answer anything that you throw at us, really. Keep watching our content here on the Golf Shake YouTube channel to help you play more and play better, and I'll see you very soon.